guys uh, right here. I didn't really get to do anything after uh, the match that I cut the last promo for. I don't think I'm really supposed to use the word promo, but that's all good. I don't care. Um, if you guys haven't seen it yet, Lobo, Mexican guy, whatever, he won. Just barely, because of a fuck up. It happens. Um, I'm putting the video up right now. Casey Maddox kind of fucked me, but it's cool, because he's like my best friend, and he pays me a lot of money, so I forgave him. Uh, the next show, yeah, that's my beer, uh, November 5th, Olytic, Indiana. You guys remember that one? I wrestled uh, Ben Baker there a couple weeks ago. Bled everywhere. It was a disgusting, bloody match with thumbtacks and all kinds of nasty shit. But, uh, sorry, I'm getting distracted by Facebook. Yeah, there's Facebook right there. Woo! Facebook. Right on. Um, you guys also saw Zero dropped Casey, which kind of sucks. I guess he would have been worth a lot of money. I kind of thought he was a big idiot. But that's how it goes sometimes, I guess. He also lost the heavyweight title, so it serves his big dumbass right. You don't get rid of your fucking manager, because then you're not going to keep the belt. You have nobody there to help you out, man. Nobody. But back to Lobo. Yeah, I wrestled him. He won, just barely. I kicked him in the face, though, like I said I was going to. Pretty sure his kids are retarded. Now, some other little kid in the crowd cried and screamed as I kicked him in the face. Um, it, it was a good night. Good show. Good turnout. It was fun to be there. Uh, like I said, November 5th, Olytic, Indiana. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be taking on Lobo again. I got a... Hopefully getting a rematch for the Cruiserweight title. That, that's what I want because that belt should be mine. He barely won that shit. Barely. Like within a fucking ball hair. A fraction of a ball hair. Yeah. But anyways, ride out. November 5th. See you guys there.